Well, happy Friday and welcome to the 901. The Memphis Tigers had to do a little soul searching this week after Sunday's loss to Tulane. The Tigers lost 96 to 9 on the road and Penny Hardaway says the team needs to refocus on their defensive identity. They've got East Carolina tomorrow and one man they need to stay on the floor is DeAndre Williams, who's fouled out three times in the last five games. The whole team is um, preaching to me just, you know, just stay in the game. And that's been the story for, you know, years now since I've been here. And um, I'm just learning, you know, I'm, I'm only human. DeAndre knows. And Kendrick knows from playing against us all those years how we play. And um, DeAndre and Alo both know how, how it's supposed to be done. So I did hold uh, Kendrick and DeAndre more accountable on those, in those areas. The women's team was winless in the American Conference coming into tonight. They made sure that drought ended today. They blow out SMU 80 to 51. Domination with 46 points in the paint. Imani Jefferson led the way with 16 points and five boards. Next up, the South Florida Bulls in Tampa. Memphis football getting a little help via the transfer portal. Defen defensive end Jalen Joyner joins the program after five years at FAU, where he was initially recruited by Lane Kiffin. Injury slowed him down this year, but he finished his out career with 89 tackles and six sacks. He'll have one year left as a grad transfer at Memphis. Ryan Silverfield added another replacement to his coaching staff today. Chris White is the new special teams coordinator who was in the same position at the University of Buffalo. He's also coaching the Big Ten, the ACC, and the NFL. He replaces Charles Bankins as special teams coordinator. That's your 901 and 91.